Chopper en route. ETA 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up. Oh my, I, I, I'm, off. I'm so scared to walk through grates anymore. You have to admit though, it was scary as hell, like before being chased by Bane like that. How do I get out? Oh, right, there's the. Warden. Where's Gordon? Sniper! Hey! Oh, I know who this is. Oh, no, it's not. Huh. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Oh no, not you. What the fuck? What just happened to Croc? Yeah, Croc was here like a minute ago and got shot. You see, he runs away. Is Croc a baby just like we all predicted? What are? I'm not even sure what I'm doing anymore. Punch, punch, punch. Missed. Ah, oh, crap, you get me. There you go. You need a nap. Joseph, they're on their way. You're going to make it. Where's the Joker? He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. Let's do this. Okay, so how do I do this? If the door is locked, then I cannot exit it. But he pointed at the wrong one, because you know why not. Oh. Bats. Bats. He's just... What's a knife? <laughs> I just shot the kill and back from all. Bane's still alive. What? Now that's not, not funny. funny. <laughs> Ow. This, this <laughs> Jesus. Swing better, better, better. You just can't get it through your thick skull. We both exist because of them. Give up. You've lost. Doing. What the? Doing. <laughs> Jesus, this is gonna be fun. Flashback moment. Punch, 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 punch again. Who was this? Who did I see this time? Punch in again. Woodish. Ooh, Avatar Warden. Look. So I have to look. Joker Avatar. That's so okay. Batman Mail. Perhaps sooner, perhaps later. Defeat the Joker. Ah, is that it then? You do it, isn't it? You like the way it feels. It's what you need. <laughs> oh, break his back. Oh, no. Come on, baby. Beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's another way we can stop you. 
What the fuck? <laughs> What the hell? This. What the hell is the bomb on picture? Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. Didn't that. All that for a gun? Thinks you're a hero, but I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. Watch your twenty. I'm in the chapel. We got, we got the Joker. Joker. Son of a bitch. You <laughs> I had some help. <laughs> yep, you miss me. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them. Any more than I can change this damn, damn city. city. <laughs> well, at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, that's. <laughs> Going to be fun. <laughs> so this isn't how I expected it to end. I was expecting it to end at the beginning of Arkham um, Asylum. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. No, no, no. Now, how many of you expected at the beginning? This to begin at Arkham. Arkham Asylum. I mean, it does make a lot of sense for that to be it. Uh, I would speak more, but I'm tired. So I might just leave this on and record it off. Please. I'll just cut it off halfway because we only have a few minutes left. So I'm going to be silent. And you guys can watch this. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a really fun game. I'm going to continue on the side missions for you because I still never even met quite a few of the assassins I have to say that was disappointing I only you only you don't meet two of them it was you know, I, I hope you enjoyed this game it was fun to play uh, oh my, uh, I would play oh I'm gonna send them to continue this off but I don't own it and well I did but I don't know where I put it but I'm gonna continue on with Gears of War Judgment, this, rest, all side missions. I might do a live stream of the multiplayer games just for you, you know, why not? I'll uh, see you guys on whatever I do next. Each thing I do is just some evil scheme. What the hell? <laughs> a memory from your lonesome past. Keeps us so far apart. Why can't I? That's beautiful singing, Joker. Uh, I'm gonna unplug my mic. Oh, I hope you enjoy the series. Bye. Oh. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh. <laughs> Yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. 
But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same, and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I breathe your doubtful line and melt your cold, cold? Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? But what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy. But I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like them. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nation. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our citizens. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison. And pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message.